What is the primary reason that employees must report any and all accidents that occur on the job site? A. Insurance reasons dictate that all incidents be reported. B. Accountability needs to be firmly established. C. Only major accidents need to be reported. D. Employers and employees can learn from the incident. Correct answer is D. Employers and employees can learn from the incident. Question 2. Equipment that has been issued a prohibition notice must be A. Operated by approved personnel. B. Operated by senior staff only. C. Cease to be operated until checked for safety. D. Discarded immediately. Correct answer is C. Cease to be operated until checked for safety. Question 3. It's important for you to wear the correct type of gloves when dealing with hazardous substances. If you don't then you're like to succumb to A. Arthritis B. Vibration white finger C. Rain odd syndrome D. Skin disease Correct answer is D. Skin disease Question 4. If your job role requires specific type of PPE would you need to pay for this? A. Yes you'll need to pay a percentage of the total cost. B. No, your employer must provide all PPE necessary to carry out a job. C. Yes, everyone is responsible for providing their own PPE. D. Maybe, you might need to pay as PPE is provided at your employer's discretion. Correct answer is, B. No, your employer must provide all PPE necessary to carry out a job. Question 5. What should you do if you are given a task that requires you to wear a full body harness but you've never used one before? A. Carry on and try to work it out yourself. B. Ask a colleague who wears one for advice. C. Ask for an expert to train you. D. Ask for the instruction manual and figure it out yourself. Correct answer is C. Ask for an expert to train you. Question 6. Which of these best describes a toolbox talk? A. It's a detailed guide on how to store your tools safely. B. It's a short discussion on a specific health and safety topic. C. It's a guide that outlines the tools approved for use on site. D. It's a guide that explains the benefits of choosing the right tools for a job. Correct answer is B. It's a short discussion on a specific health and safety topic. Question 7. What purpose does a steel toe serve in a work boot? A. Increased traction when working from heights. B. Increased comfort. C. The steel will keep the foot more aerated than a normal boot. D. Protection against falling debris from above. Correct answer is D. Protection against falling debris from above. Question 8. Equipment being used has recently been served a prohibition notice? If you are using this equipment, what should you do? A. If the device seems to be working properly, continue to use it. B. Nothing, the notice is only for a specific employee. C. Cease using the device until it has passed a safety inspection. D. Report the notice to your supervisor at the end of your shift. Correct answer is C. Cease using the device until it has passed a safety inspection. Question 9. What's the main purpose of the risk assessment? A. It tells you who is in charge of health and safety on your site. B. It provides in-depth statistics of all recorded accidents. C. It identifies hazards and provides a safe method for carrying out a task. D. It tells you the location of all safety equipment. Correct answer is C. It identifies hazards and provides a safe method for carrying out a task. Question 10. Using eye protection is vital for on-site safety. When should you wear eye protection? A. Only when you're working with power tools. B. Only when you're working with hazardous chemicals. C. When the task has a potential for eye injury and if the site rules demand it. D. Only when your eyes come into direct sunlight. Correct answer is, C. When the task has a potential for eye injury and if the site rules demand it. Question 11. 
Wearing a safety helmet in hot weather can be uncomfortable. Which of these is true about wearing a safety helmet in hot weather? A. You can drill small holes in your helmet to increase airflow and keep you cool. B. You can take it off for short periods of time while you're working. C. You must keep it on at all times and ensure you're wearing it correctly. D. You can wear it sideways if it's more comfortable this way. Correct answer is, C. You must keep it on at all times and ensure you're wearing it correctly. Question 12. All of these statements are true about PPE theft? A. PPE must be worn in accordance with the instructions. B. You are responsible for providing your own PPE if the ones you're given is lost. C. Any damage to your PPE must be reported to your supervisor. D. You must ensure your PPE is stored correctly when you're not using it. Correct answer is, B. You are responsible for providing your own PPE if the ones you're given is lost. Question 13. A near miss can be described as, A. An accident that resulted in time off from work. B. A minor accident which could have been avoided. C. An accident which was narrowly avoided. D. A minor accident that was unreported. Correct answer is, C. An accident which was narrowly avoided. Question 14. Protective midsoles in your safety footwear are designed to, A. Prevent you from twisting your ankle. B. Prevent chemical burns if you step on hazardous chemicals. C. Ensure your footwear remains comfortable throughout the day. D. Protect your feet from nails and other sharp objects. Correct answer is, D. Protect your feet from nails and other sharp objects. Question 15. After working on the side for a number of months, you feel that some of the safety measures may be outdated. A. Speak to other co-workers regarding this concern. B. Consult your supervisor accordingly. C. There is nothing that you are able to do. D. Write to the HSE. Correct answer is, B. Consult your supervisor accordingly. Question 16. What should you do if you accidentally drop your safety helmet and crack it? A. Get another one immediately. B. Wait until your break and get another one. C. Carry on working if it's only a small crack. D. Wait until the end of your shift and get another one for the next day. Correct answer is, A. Get another one immediately. Question 17. What should you do if your safety footwear gets damaged while working? A. Try to fix it and carry on working. B. Throw it away and use your trainers. C. Keep using it until your next break and then replace it. D. Get a replacement immediately. Correct answer is, D. Get a replacement immediately. Question 18. What should you do if the disposable ear plugs you're given keeps falling out of your ears? A. Throw them away, continue working and get another pair at your next break. B. Take them out and continue working. C. Stop working until you get a pair that fits correctly. D. Secure it with some rolled up paper. Correct answer is, C. Stop working until you get a pair that fits correctly.